Hi, Keith Abraham here. Thanks for tuning in. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever had a song stuck in your head? You know, you hear it in the morning, maybe it's on the radio, maybe it's something you were listening to on your walk, and it just keeps on that loop and goes over and over and over. It doesn't matter. The more you think about it, the more it sticks with you. So I wanted to spend this blog and not talk about the songs that get stuck in our head, but I wanted to talk about the stories that get stuck in our head. You know, what story is playing in your head? What story from five years ago, 10 years ago, what story is playing in your head from somebody that said something to you in high school? What story is playing in your head from a past relationship, from your first job, from a failed business? What story is playing in your head? Because here's what I can share with you. The story that's playing in your head is not relevant for the future. The story that's often playing in your head right now, you need to let go of. You need to influence this bit of real estate. I love, um, I love the book from Robert Caldini, uh, especially, you know, uh, the book called, is called Influence. He said, we often don't realize that our attitude towards something has been influenced by the number of times we've been exposed to it in the past. What story have you been telling yourself over and over and over again? Maybe it's that you're not worthy, deserving, capable, talented enough, uh, you don't have enough money, you don't have enough charisma, you don't have enough drive, you don't have enough self-promotion. So often the stories we tell ourselves over and over and over become our reality. And for us to stop that, we need to influence our future. And I love this quote around influence. The capacity to have an effect on the character development and behavior of someone or something or the effect of itself. You, you need to have that influence. You need to have the influence on yourself. The question I've got for you is what do you need to do now to influence yourself, to change the story? Now, to be able to change the story, you have to create a new story. You can't replace the old story with no story. You have to fill the vacuum, fill the void. So here's what I want you to think about this week. What is the story you need to start to tell yourself? What is the story you want to change in your head? Remember a few months ago now, I talked about this whole concept around am I versus I am. You know, we have to go away, am I worthy, deserving? We have to change that story and start saying, I am worthy, I am deserving, I am capable, I am talented enough, I am successful. Rather than having the question and the doubt of, am I, am I successful, am I worthy, am I deserving? So, we, so whatever story you're going to change, make sure it starts with the, the concept of I am first. I am and then fill in the blank. So thanks very much for tuning in. I trust this blog has made you think a little bit different and started to get you to think a little bit about, well, what is that story that I need to be playing in my head about the future version of me? Now, if you've got any questions, you can always email me, keith at keithabraham.com.au. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Have a great week. and I look forward to talking to you real soon. Bye now.